Hi everyone, um, just a quick one. I am working on, on an asymmetric design. It's a dress, but this is the skirt part. So I thought to share this with everyone. So you, all, you already know that asymmetric is you having either the full front or full back, wherever you um, are having the asymmetrical design. Okay, so this is my front. If you can see, my dad ends on the hip line but because my design requires me to you know come from draw my slash my style line from one side to the other side i'm going to draw the line and it's going to be ruled on the dart okay so how do i get rid of this dart also because i'm adding fullness i shouldn't really concern myself about part of the dart adding fullness to the design i already want to add fullness anyway so what i've what i've done on here is i've drawn my slash lines the first thing i always do when i'm designing is to mark my point on both end in this case um my line is coming from this side to this side so i've marked based on my proportion and I've marked on this side as well based on my proportion and the number of slash lines I desire. Okay, so I had to pause because of the aeroplane. <laughs> okay, so I was saying I've drawn my slash lines from one side of, of my block to the other side as you can see. And as you can see, they are crossing my dart. So what I've done is the third slash lines which is closer to the to my dart point i have i'm using that point as my dart point now so what i've done is i've shortened my dart right to end on this third slash line also my second slash line i have um shortened this other dart to end on this um, second slash line. It is absolutely fine. And I have redrawn my, um, my dart. Some of you might say, oh, so the, the length of this dart is not equal to, that is why it is called asymmetric. And because like I said earlier on, I'm adding fullness. So it doesn't matter the amount. This, see, see, the, see the fullness that you, this one is adding, this dart is adding on here. It's not much. It's not that much. And because fullness is part of my design, it's, 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 it's fine. It's absolutely fine. So now, when, I, when I'm cutting this, the first slash line, style line I'm going to cut will be the third one. Right? So once I cut the, this line, I will be able to close this dart. That's the rule. As you've learned on, um, in the basic bodies, if you've, if you've done uh, module two of the online class, we, um, all right, I mentioned that whenever your style line passes through the end of a dart or dart point, you'll be able to close the dart. So because once you cut here, we'll be able to close this dart, right? Now, once you close this dart, this line will break. It will break. So what you have to do is uh, place your ruler back on it and connect this point again. You have to redraw that line, the line, and that will be your new cut line. Then the next line to cut is actually this line, the second line. Once your um, once you cut through the dart point, you will also be able to close this dart. Once you close this dart, this line breaks. You have to redraw it. So that's how you've called, in this case, you've converted your dart to fullness using the slash line. So basically that's what I, um, I, just, I just thought to share with you. I will share what I just said in pictures as well because I, can't, I have to show you this before we start cutting into pieces. Okay, I'll see you later. I hope this helps someone. I'll see you later. Bye for now.